Hi, right, basically it's the Easter holidays now, so although we've already been locked or in lockdown as such, and we're stuck at home, and that's the whole point of these, these uh, sessions, is I'd like to consider the fact that there's a group of you today. Um, although most of the sessions have been based around doing stuff alone, or you can do on, do on your own, this one's more about being in a group. And by group, I mean two plus. Now the basic principle is working on a still life and working on each other's work in a circle or a square, depending on how many there are by you. Now what I'm going to do is explain what it is, what we, how it's going to work, and then I'll show you and do some um, time-lapse photography or filming. And what I suggest is you go through the whole thing, or the, whole, the explanations as such, before you attempt it on your own. So, what we have is a still life. Now, because this is a group activity, what I said to everyone is to bring something to the table, so to speak. So, everyone brought a couple of things, we put them together to make a still life. Firstly, the f when you draw your first drawing, try and get the whole thing penciled in. So if you save 10 minutes, try and draw the whole still life, not just a little detail. So the next person works on your, your pre-laid drawings. And I suggest using an HB pencil or something like that on the lighter side when you first start. The second point, and probably the third point, so probably three points to be honest, is introduce colour as you go along. So you might, you know, this, you, you, the first one be drawing, then maybe a bit more drawing, then thirdly colour and fourth colour. And finally, which was the third point, is when you, so you go one, two, three, four, when you get to your final position, I suggest you do another short session back where you originally were, so you can tie in how you envisaged the drawing to be. Okay, now at the end of the this next stage where we do the uh, time lapses, a bit of explanation, I'll hopefully get to the end and you'll see what we've achieved and I'll talk about it then. Okay, so as I said, we have a still life and we have one, two, three, four uh, drawing positions. Okay, so there'll be one person here, one person here, third, fourth over there. Uh, right, and then what we're going to do is draw this. And hopefully you're going to do that, but you'll be doing it with your own still life at home. Now, also on top of that, I want to be able to time each drawing. So each session of drawing is the same amount of time. So say I recommend between 5 and 15 minutes. We'll probably try it for about 10. Uh, so person one will draw in that position for 10 minutes and so on around the table. After the uh, first 10 minutes, everybody stops and then everybody moves to the next position and so on. Now I'll go through this again with the stop, uh, the time lapse, um, but that is the principle. So you've got one, two, three, four, and all the same amount of times. Now before we start and we do the time lapses, I just want to explain a couple of things. So I've got my happy volunteers and basically we're going to do the first session of drawing. So as I said before, this will just be a drawing, we'll try and get the whole still life in. Okay, and we're going to do about 10 minutes. So that's the end of the first period of time, okay? So everybody's drawn the still life, okay? Now, the second point, we're going to stay on pencil because we're still drawing. We decided as we were going along that we all wanted to draw a bit more. So now we're going to do the next stage, which will be the same amount of time again, but in our new position. So I'm going to go from here to here, and everybody moves round one, okay?
Right, despite the vase falling over and the uh, uh, tulips being ruined, we've just done four sessions uh, going round and each one was just, just about 10 minutes long. Now, now we've come back to your original position, I just want you to work for a few minutes, but, you know, we're probably going to do five minutes now, just to tidy up the key and work on what we think is the key area of the drawing. And this will be one final time lapse, then we'll have a look at them and have a little explanation as to what we hope we've achieved. Right, so here we have four pictures that four people have worked on. Okay, now I'll put some stills of those as well. It's hard to get views of them. And I'll talk about it in a second, but there you go, that's the result. Right, either you've finished now or you've just, you're still watching the explanation. But this is what you're aiming at. You're aiming at four pieces of work, or six, or eight, or two, however many of those there are, and you've each influenced each other's works. Now, when I've done this with other groups, the one thing I find is people get, they relax about their own work and enjoy working more on other people. So people sort of work more together, as though they're working individually at that exact time. Um, and each everybody's slight variations in skill or or the way they approach the work affects everybody else's so you end up with a sort of four or again however many pictures which all have a, a you know kind of a bit of everyone's influence in there so each person who worked has kind of influenced everybody else's drawing which uh, i think is a really nice way to work together i also found and i did ask everybody afterwards they said they kind of got so engaged in it it passed quite a lot of time and so it's a, it's a really nice way of drawing and because you break it down you sort of naturally help each other rather than just having that time pressure of oh I've got to achieve this in this amount of time it's you know that somebody else is going to come onto your work and sort of affect it change it help it or whatever and then you can do the same in everybody else's so there you go so that's kind of the explanation uh, now if you've yet to do it go through it try it if you haven't I if you have done it, I hope you really enjoyed it. Um, and next time I'll do something again, going back towards something for individuals again. So I hope you enjoyed that today. Um, and please remember to comment, like and subscribe if you enjoy it. <laughs> and uh, please come back and try another session again. Thank you.